Hello and welcome back. Vectors, further maths, five star question. It's an old question. I don't remember where it's coming from and uh, um, where I got hold of it. It's, I know it's been there for, for a long, long time. And this is actually quite a difficult question uh, to handle it. It's quite long, a lot of information. <coughs> um, it's on further, further maths. So for those um, because in, in, in different boards, this has a different uh, position. There are cross products in here. In other words, uh, uh, f f crossing vectors in order to find normals and things like that. So in some boards, this is not done until later in further maths. So it, may not, it might not be the vectors that you would normally expect. Um, so let's see what it says. An irregular pyramid. Uh, irregular pyramid with triangular base uh, ABC. So we got a tetrahedron basically has vertex at the point V. So ABC on the floor, V at the top. The equation of the straight line VC, so that's VC here, is this given in vector form where lambda is a scalar parameter, blah, blah, blah. The plane face ABV, so this is plane ABV, has this equation. We got in Cartesian form, 2x minus 3y minus z is equal to 1. If the point D lies on the face VBC and has position vector, blah, 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 and now my brain begins not to work. Uh, Saturday today, the day that normally after my treatment, I record uh, loads of uh, videos. I don't know how many I've done I go one more on gamma functions and I really don't want to do this particular question or not the gamma function. I think I probably have done seven videos uh, so far today and uh, my brain is misfiring. I don't want to read anymore. I've, I've, I've had enough. Uh, do I stop doing the video? No. Uh, but, but that gives you a clue as to what I was going to, going to do. I was talking to someone, one of my students a long time ago about mechanics. says, I'm, I'm, I'm finding difficult dealing with them problems with mechanics, some of the longer questions. I said, listen, if you start reading from the beginning to the end and you try to understand what's going on, something is wrong. You, you have the wrong technique. For something like this, okay, you read, it's about vectors, about planes, about lines. It's time to get your pen out and start drawing a diagram and start putting this information into a picture because uh, <clears throat> it's, it's a way too much here. So at the moment, I hope you trust me. I'm reading off here and I'm going to be putting the information to a diagram. So here is what we got. <laughs> we got the pyramid and the pyramid looks something like that. It's a triangular pyramid. Uh, let's say something like this. This is the triangular base. Let's call it, doesn't really matter where we put the bits. And this is, of course, totally irregular yeah my pen is annoying me as well everything is annoying me so I have another finish pen somewhere I bought this barrel pens a long time ago I hardly used it because of course I stopped recording and they they went down the drain so it's very annoying at the moment this is a this is a b c this is V, that's the vertex. Okay, an irregular pyramid with a triangular base, A, B, C, has vertex at the point V. Okay, good. <coughs> the equation of the straight line, V, C. Okay, um, do I use different color pens? This is this line, V, C, and is, of course, the line two, zero four plus lambda one minus one four hopefully i've copied everything correctly the plane face a b v where is he now is on is this bit here so that's a b v a b v that's the equation this plane two x minus three y Minus that is equal to one. <coughs> okay. If the point D 
lies on the plane face VBC. So it's on this plane here, the point D. And it has position vector. So this is the point D. And the position vector of this is 10 over 3. The numbers are ugly, but I think when I wrote the question, I, I put the numbers like this, so it works nicely at the end. <coughs> it's the point of this coordinates to show that the equation of the straight line VB, so the question is VB is equal to question mark. He's asking us, this is the information we're given, and we're being told to show that the equation of the line VB is this bit here. Uh, we got the tetrahedron. It's giving us the equation of a line of one of its edges. It's giving us the equation of one of its plane faces on the other side. It's giving us a point D, which is <coughs> on this plane. And it says, you know what? find the equation of this line VB as a show. Uh, yeah, quite a hard question. I've got all the information in front of me. I hope I haven't messed up uh, uh, any, any signs more than anything and uh, I end up with uh, stupid numbers. Okay, where do we start? First of all, what what is this VB? I mean, what's one way perhaps we can come up with the equation of the line VB. One of the ways we can get the equation of this line is by finding the intersection of two planes. And that's the plane phase VBC and VBA. Oh, that's, that's one way. <coughs> so, at the moment, um, I'm going to try to find the equation. You see, here I have the equation of this plane here, I don't have the equation of this plane, but I have the equation, if you think about what I have been given in here, um, without the, the line um, uh, um, VC, which has this equation, I don't know what the point P, another point, sorry, the point 204 um, lies, let me just double check, uh, 204, yeah, lies, but this direction of this line is of course scales to this vector here so I can think of that let me put this pen in the bin because it's gonna I'm gonna grab it again the next time when I eat it in anger okay so the first thing I'm going to do uh, probably take find three points which happen to lie on this particular plane well um since I have uh, the line L, I can say, okay, you know, let's put lambda is equal to zero on this line. So the point, uh, so we call it P204, is definitely a point on this line, but at the same time on the plane VBC. Uh, I'm gonna put another point. I'm gonna put the point minus one. Why am I picking the point minus one? I'm just gonna get rid of this four. So it's uh, another zero, I like zeros. Uh, let's call this point Q. Uh, what am I putting? Minus 1, minus 1, plus, let's give me 1. And minus 1 gives me 1, plus 0 is also 1. And of course, the reason I put a minus 1 is to have uh, some 0 coordinates a little bit easier. And of course, I have the point D. The point D is not on this line. So the point D is, of course, coordinates 10 thirds, 1 third, and 5. So this is what I've got now. I've got three points on the plane. So the plane, of course, is the plane VBC. I hope it doesn't confuse you. I'm drawing the plane face VBC as a rectangle because, of course, this plane extends forever in every direction, not the uh, rectangles and nothing is an infinite object. So I have here three points which lie on this plane. So um, shall we call uh, perhaps the point P being here, the point Q being here, and the point D being there. So from this bit of information, I can have 
uh, PQ is Q minus P and Q minus P is Q first of all is 1 1 0 and uh, the point uh, uh, P is 2 0 4 which will going to give me 1 negative 1 positive minus 4 <coughs> so hopefully this will be okay <coughs> minus 1 1 4 and then I've got the point D and should have done the other way around really um, sorry PD no sorry PD yes PQP D I'm doing stupid things sorry um, and it's, it's confused it's not confusing I should really mark them the vector PQ which is Q minus P and the vector PD which of course is D minus P and D is this ugly coordinates 10 third to third 5 minus the vector P which again is going to be 2 0 4 and um, 10 thirds take away 2 is positive 4 thirds a third take away nothing is nothing and this is that and I'm going to scale because these are directions that someone I used to get basically a normal and the equation of the plane that's what eventually I'm going to be doing <clears throat> then that's the normal to the plane uh, which plane is that VBC okay so this is this plane face here um, I'm gonna scale these two vectors uh, less minuses is good 1 minus 1 4 and times it by 3 um, I'm gonna get the vector 4 1 3 so my next part of the plan is what is the vector the normal to this plane which of course I J K um, which way shall we put them in it doesn't really matter we we'll scale them again if they turn out to be ugly 4 1 3 and this is now a minus 3 minus 4 is a minus 7 a k I'm doing it the other way around to avoid the minus 16 take away 3 which is 13 and the 5 is the last component because I do it the right way so 16 take away uh, uh, 16 take away 3 Three there, uh, gosh, uh, thirteen. That's the K. Something is not quite right in what I'm doing. Yes, I'm very very tired. I'm doing the K and I'm using God, man alive. One minus minus four. So that's a five. Brain is dead at the moment. Confirmed. All right. So this is the normal. So we have another bit of information. See if I can get a different color pen and put this information in uh, into my picture. Do I have a blue somewhere maybe? That's uh, like a purple color. So at the moment, the normal to the plane VBC, I'll leave it as it is. I don't wanna be doing too many complicated things because I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm, as, as, as you can see there, I've kind of froze and I wasn't quite sure when numbers were coming. Okay, so, so far, so good. All right, what happens next? So, let's see what we got. Remember, we're trying to find the equation of this line VB. All right, now, if we cross now the two normals, which are going to be so we want the direction of vb and um, where's my purple pen as well or blue pen whatever color that was if i mark on this plane this information of course it was given from, from the beginning this normal is two minus three minus one i'm just reading off the equation of the plane so if we look now at the two planes it doesn't matter as I see them there as triangles. If I had two planes that kind of like looked like this, let me see if I can draw a picture. So you cannot follow what, what I'm doing. So I'm gonna draw them as rectangles because it's easier to, to picture that. 
and one has normal like this and one has normal like that when you cross this normals you will get a mutual perpendicular which is going to be in the direction of this particular line of intersection so if you cross the two normals you will get uh, this particular line uh, or direction of this line so if we now go to the next part of the game and we do i j k and it doesn't really matter in what order we put them we can actually scale them to have less minus i'm going to scale this one because it has two minus so i'm going to write it as instead of two minus three minus one i'm going to write it as minus two positive three positive one minus seven 13 and 5 and hopefully I will not make a mistake now so this is basically the normal of uh, ABV and this one on the second line is the N of the normal of VBC and if I cross them I'll get of course the desired direction of this line all right so we're going now uh, ahead with that uh, we got i component 15 take away 13 unsage to the the j component go backwards minus 7 minus minus 10 so this gives me a positive 3 and the k component is this bit here so it's going to be minus 26 plus 21 which is going to give me minus five. So this is the direction of the line VB. We still have, in order to, because the question says, show the equation of this line is that, and you can actually see, I don't know if it's visible on the video, that we got the right direction, two, three, minus five. We just need a point on this particular line how are we going to get a point well if we solve simultaneously the equation of the plane abv abv if we solve simultaneously the equation of the plane abv and the line vc because of course you can think of the line vc which we have this equation is going something like that and you will cross you know cross cross not in the in the cross product uh, kind of uh, sense but crossing as going through the plane abv so if we do abv and vc we'll get of course the coordinates of v which are common to both so what's the equation of <coughs> abv 2x minus 3y minus z is equal to 1 the line vc which is here. I hope you follow this. This is very, very nasty, this particular question. Uh, I must have been feeling extra uh, horrible when I wrote it. It's a long time ago, I hardly remember it. And this one is X, Y, Z, equal, equal, equal. And many times I have written questions and uh, a long time ago, when I was smarter, or perhaps I was smarter at the time and I'm looking at them years later and uh, i'm thinking to myself how the hell you you do this question i know i wrote it um but uh, in my case i suppose I've, i do the blue peter job which is to say here's one i made earlier so i look at my own solution so it's actually <coughs> not a bad thing so just to make sure we're following what i'm doing i'm writing this in parametric uh, 2 plus lambda or lambda plus 2 minus lambda plus 0 or just minus lambda and 4 lambda plus 4 so I need to solve simultaneously the plane and the line parametric 2x is 2 lambda plus 4 minus 3y plus 3 lambda minus z minus 4 lambda minus 4 is equal to 1 2 5 lambda equal to 4 minus 4 goodbye lambda <coughs> is equal to 1 and therefore the point v uh, with lambda is equal to 1 is going to be 3 
minus 1 and 8. And therefore, the equation of the line will be the coordinates of a fixed point on this line, which is as V. 3 minus 1, 8, plus any kind of parameter. I think the question used lambda earlier on, so let's use a different one. Let's say T or uh, did we use mu? I don't think we use mu. It doesn't matter now. I wrote T. Uh, and the uh, direction of this line, we found it when we done the cross product. And we did check, of course, oops, 2, 3, minus 5. And this is the answer to this particular question. Um, so here it is, 8, 3, minus 1, 8. Yeah, plus, the, the, excuse me, sorry. Let's change it to be for completeness. Um, this is a, a, a question that is actually quite, quite a difficult question. <coughs> I, I do remember... Um, one thing about this question, though it's very, very a long, long time ago, rather, that uh, I wrote it. Um, one thing I'm going to say, I think it's probably, there's a good chance that this was a question from the MEI board that was multi-structured. It probably was an A, B, C, D, E parts. Two marks, three marks, two marks, three marks. And all I did is when I saw it, I thought to myself, I will remove every bit of structure in this question and just say, this is the given, just get on with it. And that's what makes it very, very difficult, is the strategy. The individual things are not really that hard. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it uh, I mean, uh, not likely to get something without the, any structure like this, but this is good practice to, to kind of train your brain. And I hope, I really sincerely hope you, you enjoyed it because... Uh, uh, this video was uh, rather long. Okay, on that note, I'm signing out. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.